What's good everybody? Hey, welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. And you guys read the title, you know what I'm doing, and we finally getting around to it. Love this part of the year. Listen, I'm gonna get ready to show you guys how to make a delicious, and when I say easy, I don't want that word easy to take nothing away from the flavor. This is an easy homemade chicken pot pie. Now, you'll see, got the ingredients laid out, super easy, not a whole lot of ingredients. And don't forget, this is the challenge of simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking, right? All right, this is the whole setup right here for these, you know, these easy chicken pot pies. I'll go ahead and just start by saying, look, I bought a roasted uh, chicken from my local supermarket. You know, you can see it already has the flavor on there. It's already roasted. It's already pre-cooked. Makes it super easy that way. Uh, if you guys have any uh, leftover, any leftover chicken, turkey, or anything like that, you can just cut it up into cubes and then, you know, have about four cups of that. Now listen, you know this channel is all about making it easy. Here you go. You got frozen peas and carrots all in one shot. There it is right there. That's four cups. We got flour. That's all purpose flour, you guys. You know, I had somebody ask me like, hey, what type of flour was it? <laughs> so listen, all purpose flour. We got celery. Uh, this was uh, just two stalks. Cut it down the middle, just went ahead and just diced it up. Then we got one large onion right here. You know, dice this also. Now, we got bouillon cubes, which I'm using too, and I'm using this uh, chicken broth. I'm gonna tell you right now, listen, you want it to be flavorful, so listen, we gonna enhance this chicken broth with these right here, with these uh, bouillon cubes. We got salt, this is nothing but uh, kosher salt right here. We got an egg, cause we got to get a brush, and then we gonna brush our top. Look, these are the bowls that I'm gonna serve them in. Listen, so look, we just gonna go ahead and cut it, do some kind of fancy whatever, put some egg wash on it, and put these in the oven. Make sure if you get something like this, if you're not making like a casserole or a big large dish, you wanna get yourself, uh, you know, individual dishes that will be able to go inside the oven. All right, we got pepper. And this right here, you're gonna need a pot, and you can use a, a pan, it's up to you. Cause listen, we gonna melt this butter right here. Once we melt this butter, then we're gonna add our onions. And once we add our onions, we're gonna cook that down for about 15 minutes, super easy. But first we wanna start off right here. We'll put these like that, and we're gonna get that going and get this dissolved, and then we're gonna start sauteing them onions and start putting this together. Super easy, you guys. And before I forget, look, this is what we're gonna use. Well, this is what I'm using right now, keeping it super simple. This is a ready-made pie crust. Look, we're gonna put this over the top like that. You, you got the picture. Hey, but I just wanna make sure I let you guys know, I'm using Pillsbury, you know, ready-made pie crust. Hey, super easy. This right here, you can still put out a great product, you know, at the house, you know what I mean? You're talking about hearty. It's that time of the year where we can have these, uh, these type of meals, so let's get it in. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna get, put some fire in this pot right here. We're gonna open up this chicken broth. Listen, we wanna go ahead and pour this whole contents in here. This is four cups. So we can hurry up and start getting that, uh, the bouillon cubes to dissolve. All right, two. Now we'll just let this come up to temperature and start dissolving that. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna transfer this over to this burner. Now, under medium high heat, go ahead and introduce your butter to the uh, pot right here. This right here is the start of your chicken pot pie. This is your base. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and introduce you know our onions. Now grab yourself a whisk and what you want to do is you want to make sure that all of your onions are completely you know saturated with this butter. You still want to keep it under that medium high heat. You know what I mean? We don't want to burn it but we want to make sure we get these onions to cook down some. Now over here you want to make sure that you keep stirring your your chicken broth you know to help that bouillon cube that chicken bouillon cube to dissolve. I don't know about you guys, but something about butter and onions smell great. Now, after these have been, you know, stewing nice, nicely in this butter, what you wanna do is, real simple, we are gonna introduce that cup of flour, but we are gonna introduce it, you know, a little bit at a time. So, we just bring it like this. 
shake it in. You know what? It's just hey, we making a roof, folks. You know how it is. You got to keep that uh that wrist and that wrist moving. But here we go. Here we go. Look at the color. You'll notice it is starting to change. It's starting to look like you know chicken pot pie, pie filling. But this is it right here. This is what we looking for. Super easy. It's thickening it up good, real nice. Now what you wanna do is once we get it all in here, we just wanna go ahead and keep whisking it, keep it moving around. We gonna cook some of that raw flour taste out of it. There we go, look at that y'all. There we go. Wee. Now, you remember we had that chicken bouillon, you know, dissolving over there in that chicken broth. Now we getting ready to introduce that into this. I wish you guys can smell it, but I'm sure some of you guys are gonna make it. Hey, when you do, don't forget to hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think about this. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our next pot, the pot that was next to it with that chicken broth. Check it out, y'all. Now, it's up to you. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Now, it's up to you how you like your pot, your, uh, your filling to be. If you want it to be, you want it to have a little bit more, you know, be a little bit more on the liquid side, you can just add yourself a little bit more, more chicken broth. Now, now for the fun part. Let's go ahead and introduce, you know, our frozen veggies. So now you guys can see, you can see how it is, just like, almost like a Marie Callender's uh, Popeye, huh? Now this is the part where you start to put a big grin on your face, because you know what you're doing, you're making a chicken pot pie. Next, the celery. And I just thought of just now, check this out. Got some potatoes, folks. So listen, this is optional. You can put that in there also. Those are some frozen uh, potatoes, you know. Uh, it's really up to you. You know, use your imagination. You can put whatever you want to. It is your, you know, pie pie. But check this out. Now the heat from this, you just, I reduced my heat down to medium, by the way. You know, so what I'm doing is right now, just moving it around, making sure everything is stirred up. Make sure we don't get no clumps. We're gonna cook this for maybe about, maybe about 10 minutes on low. And, but last but not least, God, I had a chicken. So now you guys can see, even if you're doing a, uh, if you have leftovers, which probably most of us won't. Most of us probably won't have no leftovers, you know, from the holidays, but if you do, or if you're looking to make a nice hearty meal, you know, during the week, this is super easy. You can have this made and, you know, simmering, i say in about 25, 20 minutes, you know? It's just really about getting that bouillon to uh, dissolve and, you know, and to make this right here. But as you can see, let me just go ahead and hit it like this. So you guys can see that right there is a chicken pot pie. Now, one of the things I've been preaching on this channel is we gotta taste it. Here's where you wanna just go ahead and taste some of the, you know, some of your filling. We wanna find out, do we need to add a little salt or whatever? Oh man, that's good. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead, open it up, hit it with a couple of pinches. We just wanna wake it up just a little bit. Let's go with three. Now, after you add that salt, you wanna make sure you incorporate it, you know, thoroughly inside of your uh, filling. This way, when you taste it again, it'll, you know, give you a true taste. Now we'll come back for another taste test. Boom. That was it, y'all. Now, I've been, I kept, you know, I've been stirring this up. This is after 10 minutes, you know what I mean, just, uh. You can see it is starting to, you know, make its way to the top, some of the boil bubbles. <clears throat> so what I'm getting ready to do is, I'm getting ready to remove it from the heat. Turn the heat off. Now I'm getting ready to go back over there and what we're getting ready to do is, we're getting ready to start filling our bowls. 
Now, as you can see, this made a big pot. But I'm getting ready to make some more. I'm just gonna show these two. You know, right now, I'll just show you how easy it is. You know how easy it is to make. Now we're getting ready to fill these. We only gonna fill them up uh, so high. Now, one of these I'm gonna try to, you'll see. Let's just go ahead and get it going. Now, look, this part right here, you can do it any kind of way you want to. You know, it's really about just getting it filled up. Now, listen, you wanna leave yourself a little bit of an edge. So I'm gonna say leave yourself about, about three eighths of an inch or maybe a quarter of an inch. You don't wanna fill it all the way to the top. Reason being, because when we put it in the oven, we don't want it to boil over. You know, just like that. That right there is perfect. And what I want to tell you is real, real, real important. Make sure that your cookware, you know what, is oven to serve ready. You want to make sure that when you put it in the oven, you don't have any issues. All right, now go ahead, get your pie crust. You want to remove it from the uh, from the from your refrigerator. You just want to open it up. Hey, listen, it would help you too if you go ahead and just put yourself a little flour down, you know, so that nothing uh, sticks. But this is how we're going to do this. Now, I got this unfolded. I'm going to set this over here, put this up top. Now we're just going to look real simple. We're just going to lay this over the top just like this. Now, go ahead and get yourself a knife. I like using this paring knife. Nice and small, easy to use. And what you want to do is you just want to cut around it. You know what? And it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, you remember I left a little rim. I didn't fill it all the way up. So now I'm just gonna push it down a little bit and you can make whatever kind of design you would like to right here. But we just gonna put it on just like this. Now, again, I wanted to say, listen, there's no type of pattern or whatever. For those of you guys that are good with these pastries and you know, working with this bacon, you could put whatever type of design you would like. Now, I just folded it over like you saw and just like mashed it back into itself. Hey, and that works just fine. And then you're going to do that as far as many, uh, many bowls that you have. Now, after that, you're going to set it off to the side. You want to go ahead and get your next station together. And this is just getting the egg. Go ahead and, you know, beat it a little bit. And this is going to be our egg wash. This is what's going to help us, you know, brown it. Now, get yourself a brush and just go ahead and brush your egg on top. Now I got a question for you guys. I want you guys to let me know now. Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you prefer to use butter or do you like using the egg wash? I like the egg. You know what? It gives it a nice golden brown. You know, both of them do the same, but this one looks a little bit better if you ask me. After you're done with that process, go ahead and get yourself a baking pan, a baking sheet, put it on top. Cause listen, when you put it in the oven, it might boil over. Now, after it's done, boom. Tell me what you think about that there super easy and the one on the left i went ahead and put some vent holes in it just so that it would steam you know and open up but as you can see you can see how i like fold it over now yeah i could have been fancy and just covered the whole thing and let the overlay you know hang over the edge but that's the way i chose to do it and here you go folks this is the money shot right here i don't know if you can hear it in my voice but look at that right there hey listen that is a true chicken pot pie hey i want you guys to enjoy this one right here So tell me what you guys think about this one here. Super easy, huh? I bet you a lot of you guys didn't know just how easy it is just to make, you know, homemade chicken pot pies. Now, check it out. We got the holidays coming, right? So listen, if you do happen to have some uh, leftovers, this is some of the things that we can do with it. We can make turkey pot pies. We can make whatever you would like. Well, you know, whatever you want to put into the filling, you know, as far as your cooked meat goes. Hey, super easy. Hey, I just want you guys to make sure you let me know down in the comment section below. If you're new to my channel, let me go ahead and take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Let everybody know out there that there's a channel out here that's taking the mystery out of cooking and simplifying these recipes. And with that being said, if you've been watching me for a while, you know how I'm finna end it. I'm out of here. Peace.